Hey everyone, in uh, this video we're going over lab 2.2 which is called Yellow Brick Road and uh, we're using the same stuff that we've just gone over in the past few um, do nows and labs for two for unit two um, to show you how you can draw um, and, and kind of create shapes and do really more than just draw kind of a, a few simple shapes and kind of tie it all together. So I'm going to start by going ahead and maximizing this window right now. The first part of lab 2.2 that we're going to go over is how to basically draw a row of bricks along the lower part of the stage that I'm showing right here. So in order to do that, um, we want to start by drawing a brick. Now, I've already showed this a little bit in my other videos on how to draw shapes, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, do that right here. I want to repeat something twice. Um, the reason I want to repeat this motion that we're about to do twice instead of like four times for a brick is because a brick has um, different sides to it that are different lengths. So I'm going to repeat twice doing moving 10 steps, rotating, moving 20 steps, and then rotating again. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up to do 90 degree turns, counterclockwise, and then 20 steps right here and then 90 to get it back to where it began. Uh, so one of the things we want to do, obviously, if we're drawing inside of Snap, is go ahead and go over here, bring pen down so that the pen actually goes down, and then go pen back up again. So what this is doing right now is moving 10 steps, turning 90 degrees, so it's going up, moving 20 steps, and then turning 90 degrees again. So if we click this, you can see it's drawing a brick. Now the only issue with this is that it's drawing a brick in the wrong order. So I want to move this and actually just move that right on top. So you now can see it's drawing a brick the way I want, which is horizontally longer instead of vertically longer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring clear out right here. So I can go ahead and clear the stage so you can see it no longer shows that. But another thing I want to do is I want to draw bricks along the lower part of the screen. So I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to go to motion instead. I'm going to use go to X0, Y0. Now we know that the screen itself is 240 pixels long so I'm sorry that's 204 so I'm setting this to 240 negative for both so that this goes to the lower left hand side of my screen so as you can see I don't think that is quite right I'm going to say 200 instead and again we can't see it right there what if we tried let's do 150 and see where it places us you can see right there I'm going to set this to negative instead of 200 let's try 180 Um, so now that we had that set up, this basically just draws a square in the lower part of the screen. But what we want to do is draw a layer of bricks all across the bottom of the screen right here. In order to do that, again, draw, you know, as far as doing a layer of bricks along the bottom, it's the same thing over and over again. You're just slightly modifying it each time. So what I want to do is remove these real quick. I'm going to demonstrate how you can draw a layer of bricks by just clicking. I'm going to move. Now we know that we end up with the with the sprite at the same place and in case you can't see it it's down at the lower left hand side of each brick that we draw I'm gonna go ahead and move 20 steps after each brick that I draw so I'm gonna go ahead and move 20 steps before I do that though I want to put the pen back up that way you don't see a little bit more of a darker line each time that we draw so as you can see now each time I click this it's drawing along the bottom of the screen so pretty much what are we doing well you know what we basically want to wrap what we've done right here inside of another repeat block. So I'm going to go ahead and go to control, go to repeat, go ahead and snap it to encapsulate this entire thing that we have. And I'm going to change this since we know that the, the bottom edge or since we know that there's negative 240, um, you know, negative 240 and simply moving, uh, you know, 20 steps to the right every time is going to allow us to do this. I believe it's 24 times or am I off base by saying that? Actually, if it's 20, I believe it would be 12. No, that's definitely wrong. So let's do 24. And we want to go back. And that moves it all the way to the right right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag this down and put clear right here. Now we can see that every single time that I click this entire thing draws a row of bricks along the bottom. Again, the entire purpose of showing you guys, this is to show how we can basically do nested loops. So, you know, I have this repeat block right here 
And, and basically what the script is doing is it's saying, hey, I want to do something 24 times. And what I want to do is I want to go in and repeat this action. But even within that action, we have an action that is also being repeated. So we're saying, hey, 24 times we were in a P doing something twice, which is just a series of pretty repetitive steps as it is. Um, and, and so that's really how we can start of keep going deeper and deeper that way. You know what? We may not have the, doing the same action every single time because we do need to move 20 steps. We can at least, you know, kind of automate that by doing this, this whole action 24 times. Um, and, and so that is how you do with the first part of Lab 2.2. Uh, definitely tune into my next video to see how to do uh, the second part of Lab 2.2, which is building an entire brick wall, um, which is a little bit of an extension of what we've just done.